Hello and welcome my friends. I hope everybody is having a great day so far. If you are new here, welcome and I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and consider sticking around. And if you're not, I greatly appreciate all of your continuing support and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Here we have an unboxing from Diamond Art Club and today we were looking at Steampunk Prowess by Chris Otega and this one is a square 27.1 inch by 37.9 inch which is a 69 centimeters by 96 centimeters so once again it's a fairly large kit I guess I seem to be on a roll for that today <laughs> considering the other one I decided to film was also a monster of a kit let me just pull everything out here. And this was a kit that I was extremely drawn to because I love steampunk. Just love steampunk stuff. And so here's the small sticker. Once again, has the artwork name, artist, thumbnail picture, diamond shape, and canvas size. Great for helping you store your stash, whether you put it on... Um, this part of it, or on the box, or whether you use it in the logbook. Um, they provide that sticker, and then this is their new diamond kit, which I will pull open, and we will take a peek at what's inside. Which right away we have our 4 and 7 multi-placer. Our tweezers, because it is a square kit, these won't be included in round kits but it's branded with Diamond Art Club as well. And then this one came with a red squishy and white pen. Uh, your baggies, of course, whether you kit up in them, put your extra drills, however you like to use those. And then you get your um, heart shaped wax, we get two of those. Of course, when you use them, don't forget to peel up that little plastic um, cover that they have on there. And then their clear glitter um, tray with stopper. And then this washi tape is a purple sparkled kind of polka dotted with silver. Um, big polka dots with silver that came with it. And then our cover mind is this cute little cloud. Um, kind of a peach and yellow color. Very adorable. Uh -huh. I of course will just put all of this off to the side for now. And then we'll break into this canvas and take a peek at this stuff. how well we can get this one going again. Oh boy. Sorry. Dropping it there. And then this is their brochure pamphlet that comes with it with their thank you message. What's included. Tips and tricks. Um, discount code. QR codes for video instructions and their Facebook group which has lots of great information and keeps you up to date on everything. Step-by-step uh, -step instructions, of course, and then if you use the app, this is for your first purchase through the app QR code um, discount. And then here is the large sticker with, once again, all the exact same information as that small sticker, except you can include your start and end date if you use it in a logbook, and if your logbook is big enough. And then of course the thumbnail is a little bit bigger, so you can really see that artwork. I just loved this image and was so excited. Um, uh, and it was a definite must have for me. So then of course, well, aside from all of that, you get your kidding up stickers which this kit has 65 colors. There is a ton 
a ton, a ton of colors. Um, and then, of course, anything above 150 is your ABs, which in this kit, as you can see, is your first two numbers. And that just means Aurora Borealis, and those drills have a little bit of an iridescent coating over the top of them, and that helps them shine a little bit brighter and accents and highlights anything on the canvas or art piece. Um, so that's very, very beautiful. Um, I'm not going to once again open this baggie because there are so many drills and I just, I know I won't get them back in there. Um, but you'll have the sticker on it with the artwork name if you ever store them separately from your canvas. There will be a ton, a ton of shades of brown from your deep, deep dark to your more beigey tans. You have a couple of um, kind of pops of color there, if you can kind of see in the middle with the orange and some blue and yellow. It's a little bit of greens in there and a dark blue. See if I can do a quick open and find the ABs to get a little bit of a closer glance at those. But I won't be pull pulling them out. So your first one here will be this yellow 129. And that'll be quite nice. And your other one. Okay, here's your other one. It is of even paler yellow, almost cream colored, 106. Um, AB color. Those are the drills. And then I'm just going to take a moment to roll the canvas the other way so you can get a better peek at the artwork. I am hoping this one fits the space a little bit better than the other one that I did. It's still a very, very big canvas. It fits a little bit better. I can kind of work with this a little bit easier. Um, at the top you have your, sorry I knocked my light there, it has do what makes you sparkle. Your schematics on your upper left and bottom right. Your bottom left has all your licensing information and smaller thumbnail. The middle has a discount code and the socials for Diamond Art Club. And then of course on the bottom right is their lifetime warranty, so if you have missing diamonds or your anything's wrong with your canvas, like the stick, or if there's an unclear drill filled or missing drill filled or anything like that, um, you can contact Diamond Art Clubs and uh, they will basically either send you a replacement if they can or um, send out the diamonds. They send out so many packages before they charge you a small fee. Um, but here, anyways, is the artwork. And this is the top of the canvas right here is the clock. And it looks like there's quite a bit of kind of confetti in the coloring kind of middle parts of the clock. And then your background has some color blocking. You've got the little fan in the background the robot who's behind the girl and then as we kind of come down she's got the wrench in her hand so they're obviously fixing or working on something um, mechanical that needs some fixing and then as you go down you kind of see the bunch in her skirt and then the very bottom, kind of a little bit of the machinery in the background there. And I think, uh, let's go through for the ABs. 
and I thought I saw some. Yes, there's a little bit of it kind of on the corner part of her belt, which will probably help make that look a little bit more shimmery and shiny like it's metal. There is a little bit kind of in her cuff there, and a little bit in her cuff on this hand as well. And then along the little edges here of the wrench, there's a couple of ABs. You get a little bit in the goggles kind of on the corner. And then you have some in the robot's kind of eyes. Kind of bunch in the middle there that kind of gives it the highlighting um, from the light source. And then you have a little bit kind of in its uh, metal part of its body a little bit. But that'll be very nice, I think. It's kind of used really just to kind of make the metal probably look a little bit more metal. And where the light source would be hitting that metal, of course. And then usual to kind of make the eyes pop, which is in quite a few of Diamond Art Club's canvases, I noticed. There's usually an A, B, or two kind of in the eyes. Um, yeah, so this is Steampunk Prowess. Uh, what do you think of the Steampunk fashion? Do you think it's just a trend? Is it something that you enjoy, that kind of mix between Victorian and metal and gears and machinery? It's a very much kind of part of the fantasy genre, but um, I have dressed up steampunk myself as it is a fashion and a overall style look that I enjoy. There's even books that you can read that are um, based in this kind of setting as well, which are really fun sometimes to read. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this sharing, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great one. Bye.